Okay, what's up everybody? I am just doing a quick update on this little tank. So, I can't remember the last time I gave an update on the tank, but uh, I think it's been at least a week. Today is July 8th, and I know I was going last week for work, and uh, then it was Ray's birthday in July 4th, so we've been pretty busy. But since then, I think a few things have changed that uh, I'll point out here. So we have the uh, light now. What else do we have? We have the light added. Um, we did some kind of moving around some of the plants. Light's awesome. It's a, uh, what is it? It's a 100, it's a 27 watt flu valve, Aqua Sky 2.0. Um, I got it at PetSmart. It was originally like 140 bucks, but somehow I got it for like 50 bucks. So they were having a huge sale. And uh, yeah, it was awesome. So that was pretty exciting. Um, what else has happened? So I think this tank has been up now a little over a month. I was looking back at my notes and then I put water in this first on uh, May 26th. So now again, it's August or July 8th. Um, right now we've got, I think 14, so there's 14 total fish, eight tetras, um, three of these glowfish, a zebra danios, a guppy fry, and a uh, red blood here. So 14 fish, 72 gallons, yeah, check it out. Oh, and we've still got the uh, crayfish, who I just saw a few minutes ago, but, oh, yes, I see him again. He is in the back, or she, little cray cray in the back. She's about to walk out, but this is the parrot she's pretty bad the kids and mama they've named her goldie so hopefully goldie does well she's been in the tank now for about a week and um in the last week we added when we added her we added two zebra daniels to go with this zebra but they have since died. And so, yeah. Yep, having to get some more. I don't think Cichlid got her. I think uh, the red blood, I don't think it, it was that. I don't know what got them or what happened. They didn't last a week and honestly since I eventually found it in our crayfish's mouth. I decided not to take it back. So. I think the tank's looking good. Still haven't gotten the stone added to the back wall. So I don't really show that. Also, I just want to kind of do a different video too, different colors. To show you how it kind of looks at night. It looks sweet. We'll say this uh, blood parrot does go into the little cave and it's awesome. So, I think they're getting it figured out. Slowly adding fish, not gonna do anything for a little while. Probably in the next week do just a filter. Just do a filter check, see how it's going. Cause I haven't touched the filter either but I have been doing regular water quality tests and pH is maintaining six point, you know, what is it, 7.6, got zero ammonia, zero nitrates, and then the nitrite, the last reading was like 0 0.2.0, something like that, so, 
We had it media to the last, or from the, or some of our other tanks, so I think it cycled really quick. Pretty cool. We've gotten quite a bit of approval from uh, family and friends as well, so we're getting there. Again, the next project that I've already got a uh, hardy board, cement board for is uh, we're gonna add the uh, stone around the back wall. We're gonna move the deer, even though the deer looks awesome. Uh, and I'd love to put a second deer back there. We are still not sold on that idea. Would like to see how it looks though. So I think we'll do that regardless. One last shot. Just the two biggest ones. I think we're gonna move our yellow boy back upstairs. He's getting picked on. Not by the player, honestly, I think it's the other two goldfish, glowfish. I think they're kind of paired up. I don't know. Adios. See y'all. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed it.